It is the 20th of March. And this day in 1977 was a tragic one for football when it was announced that Peter Hausman of Chelsea and Oxford United had been killed in a road accident. Hausman, his wife Sally, whom he had met when they were both just 10 years old, and their friends Alan and Janice Gillam were driving to their homes in Whitney after a charity event. When Bartholomew Smith, the 22-year-old son of a former Tory MP, driving his Maserati at between 90 and 100 miles an hour, lost control and veered into the oncoming lane, hitting Houseman's Hillman Avenger, killing its four occupants and leaving six children orphaned. In 1977, a series of matches were played, with proceeds going to the Houseman Gillam Dependents Fund. First Chelsea played Arsenal at Stamford Bridge. Then there was a match attended by 17,000 between the Chelsea 1970 and the Chelsea 1977 teams, also at Stamford Bridge, and then Chelsea travelled to the Manor Ground to play Oxford United. Peter Hausman, of course, was an integral part of Chelsea's famous 1970 FA Cup winning side that beat Leeds United. His name lives on in the form of the Peter Hausman Youth League, featuring teams in Berkshire and Hampshire, which has divisions and cup competitions for a number of age groups between under 9s and under 15s. Set up in 1969 by Peter, who coached the team in his home village of Oakley, with Sally as the league's vice president, and some friends with six teams, the league now features over 230 teams from 40 different clubs. And it's nice to think that the understated player, who despite his low profile, played a key part in the successful Kings Road Entertainers, and whose life came to such a tragic end at just 31 years old, is remembered in the way that he would surely have enjoyed with kids continuing to play in a Peter Hausman Youth League. In his playing career, he played for Chelsea 269 times between 1963 and 1975, moving on to Oxford United, where he played 65 times between 75 and 1977. He overcame the initial misgivings of fans at Chelsea and took it all in his stride. He said, they pay their money and if they want to have a go at me, that's their business. I don't want to run away from it. He would end up as well respected by the fans as he had always been by teammates. The clearly avoidable end to his life was very tragic, but the fact that he is so fondly remembered is at least some small comfort to the children he left behind.